Hey friends, welcome back. Now, does your Android TV home screen feel more like a billboard than a launcher? Are you like me, fed up with car ads, autoplay trailers and slow scrolling every time you hit home? Stick around because in the next 8 minutes I'll show you how one free app erases all that junk, supercharges your performance and lets you design the perfect TV dashboard. Now, Project Ivy Launcher is available right now on the Play Store with over 500,000 installs and a 4.7 star rating. It's specifically designed for Android TV and Google TV, requiring no side loading or root. So in this deep dive, we'll cover ad removal, customization, performance boosts, advanced tools, setup tips, and whether the premium upgrade is worth it. First up, ads. The stock Android TV launcher is riddled with sponsored recommendations and auto-playing trailers you can't turn off. Project Ivy strips all ads and previews, leaving only apps and widgets you choose. Now, after I installed Project Ivy, the home screen felt instantly cleaner with zero distractions. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is set Project Ivy as a default launcher, so that every time I press the home button on the remote, it's going to go back to the Project Ivy home screen and not the Google TV launcher with all the ads. So the first thing we need to do is go into settings, scroll down to Project IV Launcher settings, and from here scroll down to Accessibility Service, click on Show Accessibility Settings, click Yes, and then this message will pop up. Just wait a bit for the second message, which tells you there's no shortcut found to launch accessibility settings, please manually open, and it actually tells you where to go in the Android settings, device preferences, and accessibility. So let's go ahead and do that. Device preferences, scroll down, all the way down to accessibility, scroll down to services, and you'll find Productivity Launcher, click on it, click to enable, click OK, and you're good to go. Okay, let's test this out. Let's just go into an app. So if we click the home button from here, it should take me back to the Project Ivy Launcher, which it does. Now, don't worry, if you think you've lost your beloved TV launcher from Google, it's still there. To get it back, all you really need to do is follow the process in reverse. Next, customization. You can rearrange rows, rename channels, and group apps however you like. Just pop into settings, scroll down to appearance, select categories and channels. And here we've got tons of options. We can show the title or unshow it. Great if you want a compact view. We can also remove the icon from the categories. Another great feature is we can change the vertical spacing of the categories, again giving you that personalised look. You can also opt to hide rows above your current selection, making it easier to see your current selection. You can also remember the focused card position, so when you go back to that row, it'll go straight to that focused icon. Pretty handy if you're in a rush. Next up is unselected rows opacity. This one is cool because again it lets you focus on your current row, and as you can see the current selected row stands out so much more. Another great feature is the top margin. You can choose to increase or decrease this. Now below that we've got tint customized icons. And you can use this option if you've got monochrome icons. Ok, back to more features. If we go back up one menu and scroll down to cards, we've got tons more personalization options. So these are your icons for your apps. You can show the title or unshow it. And even go as far as rounding the corners. You can also change the card size, increasing or decreasing to get more information on your screen. Also change the card spacing, again getting you more on your screen. I mean the sheer amount of customization is mind boggling. I mean here I'm able to change the background colour and the opacity of it. You can even go down to the minute detail of how the focus card looks, change its size, add a glow or even a pulse. The other cool thing is you can actually hide unused apps without uninstalling and apply any icon pack you download from the Play Store. My other favourite setting is the TV apps card aspect ratio. This allows me to quickly change the size of the icons to just the way I like them. Now further down you've got the option to install an icon pack and currently you can see I've got none installed. But this is such a great feature to have. Ok let's go back up one menu to the wallpaper and from here you're going to be amazed by the options you've got. Dynamic wallpapers let you use GIFs, videos or even have the background colour adapt to your highlighted app. You actually get the option to choose a wallpaper from Reddit. And the cool thing is there's different categories under Reddit. You can choose from Earth, Productivity Wallpapers, a whole bunch of Project Ivy themed wallpapers, Astrophotography, which I'm going to look at. Click on the home button and straight away we're transformed to a different planet or a different star system. So this is the final look I've achieved after meddling with all the settings. It's a demonstration of how much more you can achieve than just sticking with the Google Stock TV launcher. Back in the wallpaper settings, we can also do micro adjustments, changing the brightness, contrast, saturation, hue, and even blurring it, and so much more. 
and of course you can change the update delay of the wallpaper and if you do have a video on your wallpaper you can ignore the timer on it and change its playback volume. You can change the display mode of the wallpaper, I normally leave it on automatic and of course being Project Ivy there's little minute details you can change with that. Now if you actually get bored of the wallpaper you've currently got you can actually change it on the fly. Just click on this wallpaper and you'll see the following screen, you get a lot of information about the current wallpaper and if you click on next you can actually get the next paper in the series and if you like it just click on set as user wallpaper, click on home and voila you got your new wallpaper. The other cool thing is you can adjust the status bar including managing the notifications that pop up there. Just select the apps you want to have notifications on and click the button. Now the other cool thing you can do with Project Ivy is create your own categories. Just click on settings on screen, head down to new category, create your title and I'm going to call this one tech figure. I can even change the icon for this newly created category, choose a picture or just a regular icon pack. And of course we've got the ton of features to customize that category. Now one of my other favorite features of the Project Ivy launcher is the fact you can actually install third party apps from the launcher. You can input a custom URL and download direct. You can get the famous downloader by AFD News, the Mix Explorer, Mix Explorer Silver, File Manager Plus and a few others I've not heard of. Just click on the one you want and you'll get directed to the app on the Google Play Store. The other feature which I think is worth pointing out is this side menu here. Just click left on your d-pad and it should appear. I found it helped me navigate quickly to where I wanted to go because sometimes a whole screen full of icons is confusing. And the other feature I find really useful is the ability to change the home screen on the fly. Just click on the little cog next to the category and it pops a little menu. And from here you can update the title, change the icon, change visibility, arrange your icons in a grid for a particular category and then this gives you more options as you can see below. Cards per row, size and even sorting the icons. And if you've got a lot of apps you can actually change the size of the icon to really small or just go the other way and make them really large. Take your pick. I also love that you can pick which row is default so your TV apps, continue watching or any custom channel is one click from home. So if your Android TV is feeling laggy, Project Ivy can help. My TV's definitely regained some snappy scrolling since I installed it. By removing bloat and heavy animations, startup times drop and navigation gets a serious speed bump. Now there are two versions of Project Ivy, there's the free version which I'm using or the premium version. The free version has all the core features, ad removal, layouts, performance optimizations, are free forever. A small in-app purchase unlocks extra icon packs, dynamic wallpapers and multiple display profiles. Now me personally, the free tier is more than enough, but the premium upgrade is a nice way to support the developer. So if you're tired of ads, sluggish navigation and a one size fits all UI, give Project Ivy Launcher a try tonight. Drop a comment with your favorite feature, smash that like button if this helped and hit subscribe for more no BS tech tips.